Today is day 6 of my Universal Monster series, and today's movie is the first movie to ever feature a werewolf, Werewolf of London. Werewolf of London starts with a world famous botanist looking for a rare never before seen flower. And while he eventually finds this plant, he also finds a werewolf. And while he's able to fend off the werewolf, the werewolf does bite him. Now throughout this movie there's a subplot about the doctor's wife and her best friend. It's really irrelevant so I'm not even going to talk about it. Anyways, the doctor meets another doctor named Dr. Yagami. Dr. Yagami reveals that he was the other werewolf. And the reason Dr. Yagami was there in the first place was because that those rare flowers are a cure for werewolfism. But then it turns out that it's not actually a cure, you need to keep using it. So Dr. Yagami steals all the flowers from Dr. Glendon. Without even a temporary cure, he goes on a murder spree. And it's during that murder spree that he finds and kills Dr. Yagami. But just before the werewolf gets to his wife, the police shoot him. Dr. Glendon thanks the police for ending his suffering and he dies. The police agree to just brush all this stuff under the table. No one's gonna believe them anyways. And so ends the tale of the Werewolf of London. Avatar for day, everyone.